not saying anything. I'm not Margo. I'm Detective Hughes. I see. Well, is there any chance that Margo could come back? Just for a night. I could really use a friend, that's all I'm asking. Margo. A few extra hours with a very beautiful, exceptional woman. Someone who's been one of the few genuine surprises in my life. No yesterdays, no tomorrows. No world before the 23rd floor. Just you and me. Look, I know you're probably feeling betrayed right now. I, I don't know what I feel. No, I understand. First, I confess to a crime, and then I ask you to forget it for a few hours. Besides, I'm sure I'm nothing like the man of your dreams. I'm certainly light years away from the guy you married. Tom wasn't perfect. Margo, we've both held out on each other. But everything's out in the open now. We've got nothing, nothing to come between us now. Madame? What? I didn't order this. Not me. The wine is compliments of the hotel, Madame. Enjoy. So what'll it be? You want to send me straight to jail first? Or have a glass of champagne instead? some drinks. No. Uh, what would you like? Mom, excuse no. me. I have to talk privately with Tom. This isn't a tea party, really. Just remember what I said about mistakes. Mothers, they never know when to let go, do they? Yeah, look, I don't have much time. What's the matter? You sound a little anxious. It's, um, it's just, it's just Margo. Well, what's wrong? I thought all the danger was over. She's pretending to be romantically involved with Alec Wallace. Pretending? Yeah. Are you kidding? And I think Alec may be on to her, and I can't find either one of them right now. You know what? I, I may not be the expert here, but did you ever... Do you ever consider the possibility that Alec may have started out as the object of Margot's criminal investigation and somehow wound up as something else? You know, sometimes when you're pretending, you... you cross the line. Fantasy and reality blur. Mm, that is not going on. No, I know Margot would never intend it to happen, but... come on. Here's this very successful, attractive man that she's supposed to get close to somehow. They spend all this time together. Come on, Tom. Margot is too well-trained. She has too much integrity. She would never get personally involved. Not like that. I mean, never. Tell me what you're thinking. I lied to you. I distrusted you. I, I spied on you. It's okay, Margo. It was your job. But I, I let it go too far. I didn't want to admit that even to myself. Can't change the past. Can't 
predict the future, which pretty much leaves you with the now. So how is your now? It's unexpected. Is it? You're still here with me. You know, you seem to be with me at my most critical moments. Yeah. Yeah, the hangar. No. That was Detective Hughes. At the hospital. When he was in surgery, that was Margot. I was so sure you were gonna kick me out. Oh, you gotta be kidding. I never needed anybody so much in my life. Oh, I thought I was gonna lose him. You never even had him. <laughs> Margo, I never let anybody get this close to me. How's it feel? One more. I want you to know everything about me inside and out. I want you to know what I think. I want you to know what I feel, who I am, what I want, how much I've changed. Alec, have you? Have you changed? You know that. You know that, and you're responsible. Marco, please, say something. Anything, just say something. Even if Margo were falling madly in love with the guy, she would not pursue a personal relationship, not while she was on a case. And anybody that says any different is lying. You're right. You're right. Margo is always the detective. I just don't know how she manages to turn her emotions off and on like that. But more power to her. So what did you want to see me about? Oh, you know, I feel... I kind of, I feel silly. I mean, I didn't realize you were in the midst of all this... The stuff still like Daniel our son had a really big first today and he sat up all by himself Tom that's great no support nothing nothing, huh? nothing all by himself he was so adorable and and I wanted you to see it but now that you're here you probably won't do it for me you know, just to show me up you know what he's probably asleep by now anyway. well come on let's go wake him up you I know just wanna... I can't I have to find more though of course you do I'm sorry I Listen, I hope when you find Margot, she's uh, safe and sound, you know, just doing something for herself. Yeah, me too. But she is so driven, she never lets go. Well, there's a first for everything. Listen, um, good luck finding her. Bye. What happened? I couldn't tell him. I couldn't do it. I, he really believes in her, Mom. I just, I couldn't be the one to drop the bomb. Oh, honey, that is exactly right. It's between them. Yeah. Oh, let's celebrate. <laughs> I'll make us a snack, and we can watch a movie on TV. Sounds great. Okay. Nope. Never give up an ace, Emily. Until you come in the whole damn hand. No, Margo, no, no. don't say it. No, please, Alec, please don't. No, we don't. <sighs> okay. Okay. Please. Just tell me what you want. I don't know. Yes, you do. Come on. No, don't. Margo, you want to live. You really want to live, and not for the kids, and not for your job, but for yourself. How long has it been? I don't remember. I'm having a hard time remembering anything. That's good, because you did the same thing to me. You made me rethink everything. And now it's your turn. Don't back away from it. You think this is real? Yeah. But it's just like the fairy tales say. All you have to do is believe. something.